Hello everyone, today I am going to explain weekly contest uh, Red Code question number 2560 Find the array concatenation value You were given 0 indexed integer array num The concatenation of two numbers is the number formed by concatenation their numeral For example, the concatenation of 1549 is 1549 The concatenation value of nums is initially equals to 0 Perform the operation until nums becomes empty. If there exists more than one number in nums, pick the first element and last element in nums respectively and add the value of their concatenation to the concatenation value of nums. Then delete the first and last element from nums. If one element exists, add its value to the concatenation value of nums and then delete it. We need to return the concatenation value of nums. See in the example one what they given. 7, 50, 2, 2, 4 and output is written in 596. What they done, what they give an explanation, I will tell you. First, we are taking first element and last element. We are adding by using the concatenation method, okay. It will become 74. After, we will delete them. After we are, if there are any elements, just we will add them uh, by concatenating. After that, the previous element and the now element came up, just we will add or we will get output as 596. How it is going to work, let's we can briefly understand in the whiteboard. Yeah, how it is going to work, let's see. I will go with first example. 7. 52, 2, 4. Okay. I will take two pointers. I is pointing to 0 and J is pointing to the last element. Yes, 3. Here I will be pointing to 7 and J is pointing to this 4. Okay. What I will do afterwards? Just I will add, just I will then I will make the concatenate of them. These are in integer type. Just I will convert to them in string. Two strings. Here I will take nums of 0 plus 2 string by using the plus operator I will do. 2 string nums of here is 3. This is what I will do 7 plus 4. It will become 74. After I will apply STOI means I will convert it is into string to integer type. Now it will become integer. Starting I will be taken on answer variable 0. Now my answer will be this is answer equal so I will perform this. Okay. After that my answer will be 74. Okay. Now, uh, now what? Now whether it will be 62 and 2. Now my i will be incremented to by 1 and j will be decremented by 1. Now, uh, now the i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 2. Okay. Here 1 is less than 2. Yeah, this condition is true. Now what we will do? Just we will do concatenation of 52 and 2. Now it will become 52 plus 2. We will do concatenate. It will become 522. Okay. After we will apply STOI. ST of 522 will become integer of 522. Just we will add with 522. Now we are getting 596. Okay. This is the logic of this code. Let's we can proper understand in the coding section. Okay. Here we declared a long long variable named answer and we initialize it to 0. Here answer variable is used to store the final concatenation value. Here we declared a variables i and j, I where i is pointing to the 0th element and j will be pointing to the last element. Okay. Within the while loop, we will calculate the value of nums of i and nums of j by converting them to a string by using a two string. We are concatenating the string by using the plus operator. We are converting the concatenated string to an integer by using a stoi function. And we are adding it to, to the answer variable. We are incrementing our i and we are decrementing by j by 1. After completing of iteration of all the elements, finally what we will do is we will check if the num size is even or odd. If it is a odd means we will perform this task. If it is a even means we will ignore and we will finally be returning answer. Let us we can dry run the code now. See here, I will go with this example here. 7, 52, 2, 4. Okay, here I will be pointing to 0 and J will be pointing to the last element. Okay, now see 0 is less than 3. Yeah, this condition is true. So now our answer will be answer will be starting 0 plus we are applying STOI. Before that, we need to apply two string. Two string of nums of i is it will become 7 and nums of j will become uh, 4 here. Okay. It will become 74 by applying concatenation. We will apply now STOI of 74. ST will convert it to the integer. Okay. Now, answer will be now it will convert string to integer means now our answer will be 74. Okay. 
now what will happen i will be increment by 1 j will be decrement by 1 now i will be pointing to the 52 and j will be pointing to the 2 okay see now our answer will be uh, this answer has been 74 it will be stored as answer variable plus we are doing this one sto of i okay see, two string of now nums of one nums of one is 52 okay now it's two string of nums of j nums of j is here 52 we will apply two string method and it will perform 52 plus 522 now it is in the string okay we will convert string to integer type now it will become integer 522 we will add 522 now our answer value will be 596 okay after that now our condition will become false because it all elements are traversed so we will come out of this while loop now we will check the condition here nums of size here it is a even element 4 percentage 2 is equals to equals to 0 so it will, it will not perform this task finally we are returning answer as 596 if it is a odd means what we will do we will take the central elements will come no it will add to the answer finally we are returning the answer okay this is the logic of this code let's we can uh, understand the time complexity and space complexity of this logic the time complexity is taking big of n by 2 because we are using your while loop to traverse the element and we are using your the two pointers i and j to traverse the array from both ends from left and right to traverse to the center so it takes time of big of n by 2 where here is 2 is constant so we can tell it is taking big of n time where it comes to the space complexity it is taking big of 1 because we are using only the constant amount of space so it takes only space of big of 1 Thank you guys for watching my video.